Yo peeps, welcome back. Um, still in Poland. Poland is a very big country. Driving here um, all the way from Lithuania took about approximately roughly six hours. And I'm here by the river of um, Vistula. Vistula is the longest river in Poland. Like as I said yesterday, Poland doesn't look like what they've been through. I mean, um, in the First World War and in the Second World War, having suffered much of the losses of the wars, but still, today, they're smiling, very helpful. I see some fishermen over there, and maybe let's see if I can see one of their catches or two, perhaps. Is there crocodiles here? <laughs> no, no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I heard once that uh, some of them uh, escaped from the zoo, but it was uh, a few years ago. Not really? No, definitely they don't live here. A few years ago they were babies, so now they are big. <laughs> yeah, Be careful! Right they would, they would <laughs> oh, no. be so big that anyone would spot them. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, guess. I saw a movement in the water. I would, I would believe it's the fish. That was just okay, caught by yeah, the fishermen. Sure, because they are so big. Oh my god, yeah. So are you really? from here? No, I'm not. You're traveling as well? Yeah, I'm traveling, but I'm not from Poland. I just came here like t t yesterday. Mm. And it's my first day, like yesterday it was. The, the first day, day in Poland? Yeah, it's my first really? day. Really? This is my second day in Poland. It's my first day. First day, second day. So you are day. more experienced than me. I'm traveling on tour yeah. of um, 13 countries. Uh -huh. Started my trip from. The Baltics, Baltics. Oh. yeah, Estonia, yeah. Latvia, Lithuania, then Poland. Yeah, go like yeah. this. Tomorrow I'll be on my way wow. to Czech Republic. To Czech Republic. Wow. Yeah. So I met my new friend, my first friend in hey. Poland. Hello. Where are you from? <laughs> Morocco. I'm Moroccan. She's from Morocco. Yeah. Wow. North Africa. North Africa. Yeah. Um, North Morocco is also a very popular tourist destination, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is very popular. All right, yeah, but um, <laughs> GPS brought me over here where I could park, so okay. yeah, I wish I could swim across or find a way to get there, but no, yeah. you can't. The man just said there is a <laughs> He was kidding, actually. I'm not sure you find crocodiles in this part of the world. Babies, crocodiles. Yeah, so um, still exploring Poland. My friend, my first friend for the day, she's from Morocco, actually. I don't know, traveling around Europe as well, but just ended up in uh, Poland. Between 16th to the 23rd of September, 1944. Polish army at the time under the occupation of Germany in the Second World War were divided into three divisions to of course fight the East. The fall of the West, the fall of Germany, saw Soviet invasion of Poland, adding Poland to the Eastern blocs that made up um, that were made up of eight countries. It's um, a very interesting country. Um, I only thought maybe I could spend one night here, but um, I'm not in a hurry. And of course, the more rest I take, the more energy I get in exploring more. So um, I see a monument over there across the road about a soldier. I see, I can see a soldier's helmet. So let's go check it out. Here we are, the soldier kneeling down, placing, I don't know what it is. Oh, this friend again. It says, Schwava Sapero. This I know is glory. This I would believe uh, sappers or sappers, the soldiers who are responsible for reconstruction after the war. Some soldiers are um, responsible for reconstruction 
landmine clearing. I believe this is a landmine, which this guy is kind of um, taking out of the earth. You're still exploring? No. You're still exploring? No, look, he has a gun. He has a gun, yes, okay, of yeah. course. Looks like a soldier yeah, to me. <laughs> yeah. Clearing a landmine. So. I think this morning it was raining because it has water all over. Yeah. It rained in the morning. Big feet, huh? <laughs> bigger than mine. Uh, 48. This is more than uh, 120. <laughs> yeah. It's 10 times mine. Yeah. I am going to explore the old town. Old town? Yeah, I'm going to Warsaw Old Town. Yeah, to explore. Um, I don't know, I need to check, but you know, Port Warsaw is very big, so it's gonna be quite a drive. So, I was there yesterday in the evening. Okay. There is another part that I would like to explore. Another part of um, uh -huh. yeah, of um, Warsaw I would love to explore. Yesterday I couldn't because it almost started raining. Then I had it was raining yesterday. It started raining. Oh. Yeah, I didn't want to walk with wet clothes and my gear, so I had to leave. But today I want to see that part. Yeah, me too. I will uh, check because I want to see the old town. You want to see the old town? Yeah, I will okay. check on the maps and see where. I plan to be there towards 6 p.m. ish. 6 p.m.? Yeah. yeah. Perhaps maybe when I'm in the old town, we can walk around together. Yeah. Traveler, traveler, huh? Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. Deal with the soldier. Too. Deal with the soldier as well. <laughs> All right, I see you, soldier, in the I'm old touching. town. Yeah. yeah. So. See you when I see you then. Okay, see you. Bye bye. Bye. So, running to this friend again from Morocco. Also exploring, taking pictures. I would guess she's somewhere around here because, of course, walking in uh, flip flops. Perhaps docked her own tent or Airbnb somewhere closer. But yeah, I want to see. Maybe I can find something else in this park. If not, then. I'll take another rest, perhaps cook myself something. Tomorrow I am planning to do a cooking video in the morning. Then um, I'll be on my way to the next country. So Poland has been a bliss so far. But of course you know, um, you know it already by now. Don't go away, stick around, like this video, share, subscribe. And of course, see you when I see you. Instead of um, exploring the old town, um, my Moroccan friend had other ideas. She was like, yeah, if you are cooking your food, she wants to see how I do it. So we're here out in the woods looking for scouting for locations, right? Yeah. Let's see if we can find something over there. Perhaps we can set up our kitchen here. Kitchen here? Where? Over here. Are you sure? Why not? I think we can find a better place. You sure? Yeah. Alright. Let's search on then. I am not sure it will be a good idea with black and white socks. So the other location was a bit iffy and um, it, has a, it had a lot of dry grasses and probably not the best idea to pitch our tent and start making dinner so we thought maybe we could do a bit more of exploring before I say goodbye to Warsaw and over here we are looks like we are lucky found a spot and we're just by the river Wisla river which is the longest river in Poland or the ninth longest river in Europe River Wisla let's take a look at what River Wisla has to offer maybe 
we should cook by the shore. Hi. Do you want to cook by the shore? Uh? Do you want to cook by the shore or over there? I mean, the only thing I don't want to find out here is snake. I'm not very good friends with snake. You might always hear me always mentioning snakes because they're so sneaky. You won't notice when you step on their tail and bang, your foot is gone. Right, so, yeah, I think this was a find. It was quite a find. And uh, yeah, gonna cook by the shore of River Visla. Yes? Over here. Hello. Hey, I got lost. You got lost? So it's let's get this cooking started. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, in the boot. Yeah, let's go. Just... Alright fellas, welcome to my storage and pantry and mini Airbnb. This is my blanket. Um, over there some Beach shorts and uh, my food pantry, which I'm going to unlock right now. My food pantry, so let's get this show started. Here is the, the main cooker, that's the gas cooker. Small gas cooker, right? And this is my mini supermarket. They have ice cream, sir. No, I ain't got ice cream. Chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate, Chocolate ice cream. Chocolate is okay. I can take it too. Okay, cool. Chocolate is better. Can you give me a hand over here? Yeah, sure. Just put it down. Thank you. And um, we're gonna need this and this and this. What you need? Of course. Ah, tomato. Tomatoes yeah, in the refrigerator. Yeah. Right, so um going to cook now. Four wheels is packed over there and I have my food pantry in my hands. Yep. My American friend on flip flops. Oh yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> on flip flops. <laughs> Wandering in the bush on flip flops. I'm not sure it will be like white or white at the end. All right, guys, as I mentioned, as I promised earlier, all right, the sun is coming from this way. I promised to um, show you my food pantry that is gonna accompany me all this, uh, all along this journey. And um, here we are, I got my mini supermarket, remember the honey from the last video, my tea maker, a couple of nuts, and of course pasta, I got ginger down in there, oil, some coffee for the morning, and um, of course oatmeal, I love oatmeal, and rice. So what are we cooking today? Rice with onions and tomato. Yes, rice with yeah. onions and tomatoes. With um, turkey, right? Uh, no, I think it's your home country traditional food. Yes, right? it's called yeah. rice and stew. Rice and? Stew. Stew. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to make it with turkey. Okay. Turkey filet. Okay. All right, fellas, that's my food pantry. And we're going to set up the kitchen over there, as you can see. And um, yeah, I'll get the tomatoes and the turkey. Okay. Yeah. See you when I see you. Don't go see away. You. Oh, yeah, okay. Grasshopper. Okay.
dinner is. Alright, that was it. Food is ready. Um, spontaneous traveler <laughs> link up in Warsaw, Poland. And she wants to see how I do my travel campaign, obviously. My food pantry over there, a bit scattered, I know. I'm gonna get all those cleaned up, nice and tidy. Everything is sort of in a mess right now. So, you are actually about to try Nigerian food. Ever tried Nigerian food before? No. Never? Never. Alright, it's always, it's always the first time, right? So, go for it. Take the rice and this is stew it's called stew yes go for it different spoon maybe for the sauce so bon appetit bon appetit <laughs> Comment below, let me know what you think. How spontaneous are you? Um, what are the odds of you being on a travel journey and camping like me and running into a fellow traveler who appears to be even more? I don't know why I didn't understand what you were saying. Is it normal? You didn't do what? I didn't understand what you were saying. Oh, yeah? yeah. I was talking to the camera. You were talking to the camera. Mm -hmm. okay. I was talking to the viewers to let, let me know what they think about traveling, camping, uh, and meeting somebody spontaneous who is also a traveler. Hey. Mm. Uh, even the weather is beautiful. Mm. Uh, better than it was. Mm. Is it spicy? No. Hard. Oh, too hot, yeah, too hot for you. Mm. What about the taste of it? Mm. Mm. Mm? It's tasty. Have you ever had Nigerian food before? Mm. Uh, no, never. It's my first time. Your first time? Mm. So this is called rice and stew. Rice and stew. Peace to the world, peace to Africa, and um, long live Africa. So when I come to your country, are you going to show me um, Moroccan food? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. What what's Come what's on. Moroccan food? What's the typical Moroccan food? It's really heavy. Hmm? The food it's really heavy. Like you will gain a lot of calorie. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 